Welcome back to this third episode of Painting Leia Organa from Star Wars Legion by Fantasy Flight Games. I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. And this final video of the painting aspect of this series will go over painting her pistol, her tactical belt, and her boots. So we're dealing with a lot of the accessories on the miniature. <laughs> To give you a quick recap, I primed the miniature with a brown primer from the Army Painted War series and using my priming tool, which you can find for sale in my Etsy store, a link for that in the show notes. Then in the first video in this series, I went over her clothing, gave it a desert camouflage look with yellows and browns. And in episode two, we dove into painting her skin and her hair. In this particular video, I'm going to be using Rhinox Hide, a base color from the Games Workshop Citadel line of paints. Got some abandoned black coming out. Also a base paint from Games Workshop Citadel line of paint. Here's Dawnstone Gray. It's just a layer paint from by Games Workshop. Some oak brown from the Army Painters War Painter series, as well as a desert yellow from the Army Painter War Painter series. I've got some lead belcher, which is a silver color. That's from Games Workshop. And then, as usual, we've got Syrup and Sophia, a shade from Games Workshop's line of paints, as well as Nun Oil, which is another shade from Games Workshop as well. So I think for the first part of working on our accessories, I'm gonna work on our tactical belt as well as our pistol holster. For that, we're gonna use some Rhinox Hide and give the tactical belt a base color of that. Being a base paint from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints, we definitely want to water down just a little bit. All right, with that layer done, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to apply some Oak Brown. This is from the Army Painter War Painter series. We're going to go over most of her tactical belt. We don't have to do the whole thing. Just kind of give it some highlights and so I can get a little variation of the brown color. What I want to do is give a little bit of edge highlighting. I don't use this a lot on miniatures, but I think in this case I am going to apply some to some of the more sharper edges of her tactical belt. So I'm going to take a little bit of Desert Yellow, mix that in with the Oak Brown, and just kind of work that color around the edges of some of the um, parts of her belt. And to get a little bit more variation in color, I'm going to apply the Serif and Sepia Wash all over the belt. Now it's going to take a little while for that to dry. So I want to work on her boots now, and it's going to be a very similar painting process. We're going to start with a Rhinox Hide and just give them a nice coat of dark brown. All right, with some Rhinox Hide down, let's go ahead and apply a layer of Oak Brown. Once that layer of Oak Brown is dried, we'll take some Desert Yellow, mix it into the Oak Brown and get a lighter shade, and just kind of give some highlight into her boots. So I went a little bit heavy on the thin down paints. I know it's kind of an odd concept, but <laughs> before I apply the wash, I need to let that layer of paint completely dry. So what I'm gonna do now is apply a little bit of shadow to her tactical belt and just kind of finish up that area of the miniature. So I'm going to take some Nun Oil Shade and I'm going to apply that in any of the kind of shadow recess regions. So things like going around the edges of the holster, underneath some of the flaps that make up the pouches on the belt, and things like that. The other thing I should have done way back in the first part is add some definition to the little pockets she's got on her undershirt. At least that's what they look like. So I'm going to take some of the Nun Oil Shade and kind of apply some of that around the flaps of the pockets, or the pouches, whatever you want to call them. Just kind of bring out that detail a little bit. So jumping back to her tactical belt, I need to actually paint the buckle now. It appears to be right between the pouch right here in front and the holster on the side. So I'm going to take some gray and just kind of paint the area of the buckle first. For the gray color, I'm going to be using Dawnstone Gray for Games Workshop Citadel line of paints. That'll work pretty good. And then once that dries, I want to apply a little bit of silver. For the silver color, I'm going to be using Lead Belcher, which is also a Citadel line of paints. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And while, that, while I'm waiting for the dry, let's go back to the boots. And on the boots, we're going to apply some of the Serapin Sophia shade. So that shade's going to take a little while to dry. We're going back to the tactical belt, and I'm going to apply some of the Nun Oil shade around the belt buckle I just painted. It's pistol time. Star Wars pistols are usually kind of boring, to be honest with you. We're going to give them a flat coat of black paint. So for that, I'm going to be using a bad in black, which is a base color from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints. All right, we're going to let that black coat of paint dry in the pistol, and we're going to return to the boots for their last coat of paint. Okay, no, we're not, they're still wet. 
Let's let the miniature dry for a minute or two. Boots are mostly dry now. So let us apply a layer of the Nun Oil Wash just to bring out a lot of the detail. When applying this, focus on some of the wrinkles and the other kind of recessed areas of the boots. And that will work pretty well for her boots. Now we're gonna jump back to the pistol and do one last adjustment to that. And we're gonna add just some basic wear markings. Now this is a kind of little trick you'll see in the cosplay field as well as in the film production field. I'm gonna take some silver, and this case is gonna be lead belcher, and just dry brush a little bit of silver across the black of the gun. Just kind of give the idea that some of the paint has been worn off from use, and you see the bare metal of the weapon below. With this episode complete, all the painting aspects of the miniature are now complete. That just leaves us with basing it, which I'll be doing in the fourth video. So go ahead and hit subscribe here on this YouTube channel and get that video when it comes out in a few days. And until then, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. Thanks for watching.